Okay, our next speaker is Ji Zhang from NHLBI. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to present my work here. Uh, I'm Yi Fuang, Lab of Molecular Genetics, NHLBI. Uh, our lab's research subject is mitochondrial DNA. We're particularly interested in the mitochondrial DNA inheritance. That is, how the mother gives best and enough empty DNA to her progeny. Today, my talk mainly focuses on the quantitative aspect of empty DNA inheritance. Uh, we found that uh, mitochondrial outmembrane media promotes uh, regulate empty DNA replication by promoting the local protein synthesis. Um, so, through pickle green staining, we can visualize the cellular DNAs. This big guy is the nuclear genome. There are about 100 to 1,000 small punctures in the cytoplasma, uh, which co-localize with mitochondria. That's the mitochondrial DNA, the second genome of eukaryotic cell. Uh, despite its small size, empty DNA is essential for, for life. It encodes 13 subunits of the electron transport chain complexes, which enable mitochondria as the powerhouses of the cell. Uh, empty DNA deficiency or mutations would most likely disrupt cellular energy homostasis and have been linked to various human diseases. So one unique aspect of empty DNA is the inheritance. During sexual reproduction, the progeny's nuclear genome comes from both mother and father. However, the progenies, mitochondria, and empty DNA are inherited exclusively from the mother. Indeed, the mature oocyte is one of the largest cells in animal body and contains a large amount of mitochondria. So in Drosophila, the mature oocyte contains about 10 million copies of empty DNA to energize the early embryogenesis, while a germline stem cell contains about 100 copies of empty DNA. Given that the majority of mitochondrial proteins, including uh, all factors required for empty DNA replication, are encoded in a nucleus, a supposedly synthesized on the ER, then transported into mitochondria. Uh, it is perplexing during oogenesis how a single copy of the nuclear genome has the capacity to support the biogenesis of millions of mitochondria. So to uh, to identify genes involved in this massive empty DNA replication, we carry out a genetic screening in the ovary. In wild types, empty DNA replicated crazily as illustrated by this EDU punctide. We identify a mutant that has greatly reduced empty DNA replication throughout oral genesis. We name it MIDI as empty DNA, mitochondrial DNA insufficient. Uh, however, uh, surprisingly, despite the severe decreased empty DNA replication, median mutant mother laid as many eggs as wild, type egg, as wild types. Uh, however, the egg laid by the median mutant mother has greatly reduced empty DNA levels. It contains as little as 2% empty DNA as wild type eggs. Consistently, the egg laid by the median mutant mother uh, has uh, greatly reduce the hatch rate, uh, hatch rate. So this data indicates that empty DNA replication in the ovary is not required for the oogenesis per se. Instead, it is essential to power the early embryonic development, which requires lots of mitochondria. So the question comes, how does MIDI regulate empty DNA replication? MIDI belongs to a conserved family of AKP proteins, stands for A-kinase anchoring protein. It has an RNA binding cage domain, an AKP domain that might bind into PKA, and a tutor domain. However, to our surprise, MIDI localized to the mitochondrial outmembrane, with all these colored domains protruding to the cytoplasma. So how could MIDI have such profound effect on empty DNA replication which is separated by two layers of mitochondrial proteins. To address these questions, we, we carry out a mass spectrum. 
we found that media associated with uh, translation regulators and ribosome proteins. Among them, LARP is the RNA binding proteins and, the, uh, and the translation activator. Interestingly, LARP mutant is female sterile, just like MIDI. More importantly, uh, in LARP mutant ORI, the mtDNA replication is also greatly reduced. Uh, this is the nuclear uh, replicated signals. You can see here the mtDNA replication is greatly reduced. It suggests that these two proteins might act in the same process. Uh, although LARP is not annotated as a mitochondrial proteins, it localized to mitochondria in Y-type cells and ovary, but diffused to set plasma in MIDI knockout cells and ovary, indicating that MIDI recruits LARP to mitochondria. So knowing that uh, LARP is a translation activator and it is localized to mitochondria, promotes us to detect the protein synthesis in the ovary. Uh, we label the lancinate protein synthesis with a methionine analog HPG, and and subsequent uh, and uh, su and which can be subsequently labeled with the green fluor fluorosol by click chemistry. Well, some HPG signals are on the perinuclear. Uh, some HPG signal, signal localized at the perinuclear region, uh, presumably the rough ER. We also observed. Uh, many HVG puncta inside plasma, which overlap with mitochondria. These mitochondria-associated HVG signals may result from the protein synthesis by mitochondrial ribosomes inside matrix or by cytoplasmic ribosomes. To distinguish it, we treated the ovary with ribosome inhibitors. We found that a chlorophenicol, which specifically inhibits the mitochondrial ribosomes, has little effect on the uh, less than potent uh, synthesis HVG signals. However, cyclohexamide, which uh, specifically inhibits the cytoplasmic ribosomes, uh, greatly reduces the uh, HVG signals, uh, including those associated with mitochondria, demonstrated that the mitochondria associated HVG signals are mainly result from the potent synthesis by cytoplasmic ribosomes. Uh, then we detect the lancet protein synthesis uh, in MIDI mutant ovary. To semi quantify the uh, de novo protein synthesis, we label, uh, we purify the mitochondria from Y type and MIDI mutant ovary, uh, labeling with biotinated amino acids, then probe with uh, uh, anti biotin antibodies by Western blood. While some bands are not affected, many proteins should re reduce labeling in MIDI mutant ovary indicating that MIDI is required for the synthesis of a subset of nuclear encoded mitochondrial proteins. Uh, then we detect uh, the target of MIDI. We compare the proteum, the mitochondrial proteum of Y type and MIDI mutant, MIDI mutant X. We found that three groups of nuclear encoded mitochondrial proteins are decreased in MIDI, in MIDI mutant. They are uh, mitochondrial DNA replication factors mitochondrial ribosomes, and ETC subunits. Considering that mtDNA encodes ETC subunits only, mitochondrial ribosomes is for the translation of ETC subunits. MIDI, by promotes the synthesis of these three group of proteins, may provide a way to coordinate nuclear genome and mitochondrial genome for ETC biogenesis. During oogenesis, mitochondria increase 100,000 fold, fold fold. So the massive mitochondrial biogenesis requires large amount of protein factors. We, we propose that MIDI recruits lab to the uh, mitochondrial surface. They promote the synthesis of these nuclear encoded mitochondrial proteins at a close facility, close facility of mitochondria. Instead of being synthesized on ER, protected by a whole set of chevrons then transported into mitochondria. The local synthesis of these proteins um, bypass this long route that potentially triggered the unfolded protein response, thereby allows massive protein production and promote their efficient import. So if MIDI indeed functions as a docking site for lab at mitochondria, we hypothesize that 
constitutively touching the lab to the mitochondria, mitochondria by atom 20 lab fusion protein will rescue the midi mutant phenotype. So indeed, when expressed at the midi mutant ovary, tom 20 lab significantly restores the MTD replication and female fertility. The mammalian oocyte also goes through a burst of MTD replication prior to fertilization, demonstrating a conserved quantitative aspect of mtDNA inheritance. We've, we found that uh, expression of MIDI, uh, human homolog of MIDI, AKP1, could also rescue the MIDI mutant uh, phenotype, suggests that this mitochondrial AKP might mediate this conserved translational regulation to promote mtDNA replication and mitochondrial biogenesis during oral genesis. So last, I'd like to thank the help from my mentor, Dr. Hong Xu, and uh, my lab mate, and the, uh, uh, the, our great collaborators in NH NHLBI and NIH. I'd like to thank the community, and especially Dr. Uh, Professor Glavo, Dr. Professor Jia, and Professor Calderon for sharing the region and flies with us. Thank you for your attention. Take questions. Um, do you think? Do you imagine that this mechanism could also be a uh, that the mitochondria could also be a place for regulating specific cytoplasmic protein translation? Of course, I'm thinking about germplasm components that might be, for instance, preferentially translated uh, associated with mitochondria. But you could imagine it being a, a way of regulating um, other subsets of cytoplasmic proteins. Yes, that's the we 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 we. We have this. Uh, we believe that, uh, or, or we, we we think there might be the uh, maybe similar pro, uh, mechanism for promoting a cytoplasmic ribosome of biogenesis. Yeah, we, we yeah. It's a very good, very good, very good question. What do you think of the um, specific uh, motifs within the messenger RNA of mitochondrial proteins that are targeted to LARP? Are there any specific sequences there? Yeah, we. Uh, you you asking us specifically, right? Yeah, so uh, we think that specifically might uh, depend on the lab because the lab is also a mitochondrial protein. And is the study in the lab suggests that it's the binding a subset of nuclear encoded mitochondrial proteins, e including the ETC subunits. So the specificity may, uh, de may de decide by the lab proteins. So is, is LARP specific to the ovary, or is it expressed everywhere in the fly? So you mean MIDI? You mean the MIDI protein, or? MIDI, and so if LARPs, I guess. Uh, LARP. Yes, uh, LARP. LARP and MIDI are all, uh, all highly enriched in the ovary. It, do you see that mitochondrial DNA content is reduced in other tissue types as well? Um, we didn't do that because uh, the the adult, female, and male flies seems very healthy. So uh, we tend to uh, hypothesize that the, uh, uh, the somatic tissue, the empty DNA level is not uh, included. Uh, the phenotype we, we observed only in a, germ, in a female ovary is that the female ovary leads to, uh, requires a large biogenesis of mitochondria. So that's why the phenotype uh, we only observed in the ovary. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much.